Hello, this is Casey from the Local History and Genealogy Department here at the Covington Branch of Kenton County Public Library. And this is going to be my last Adventures in the Archive video. Um, so next video you see, you might see a different face, different voice, but uh, I'm gonna give you our last video of the month here, our Notre Dame Academy, the Gavel Newsletter. Uh, so that's a somewhat of a new collection. We've been indexing and scanning a lot of these um, issues to put online. Some of those are going to be up in Jinky pretty soon. There is an index to be found on <clears throat> the um, Northern Kentucky um, High School Yearbook Collection as well. So if you're looking for a particular name, that's searchable as well in the index. Um, so to give you a little back, bit of back background first about Notre Dame Academy, um, this is from the Encyclopedia of Northern Kentucky, just so you know, not plagiarizing, but um, the Northern, Notre Dame Academy was first established in 1874 as a Catholic grade school, and the initial class size was seven students. Um, the school offered kindergarten through eighth grade, plus a two-year commercial school. Uh, by the 1950s, though, the school had grown so much that it outgrew its downtown Covington location of on 5th Street, and then it was moved to Park Hills. Um, the new campus on the grounds of the Sisters of Notre Dame Provincial House cost nearly a $1.5 million to build. Um, that was opened in October of 1963. Uh, so today the gavel is um, the school's newsletter. This is a really good resource if you don't know about it. It features a lot of names, a lot of um, different events that went on. I believe the timeline of what the scope of what the collection covers is late 1940s to actually the mid 2000s. So it covers a lot of different years, um, which is always really great. You know, a lot of times people ask for yearbooks. They want maybe something more recent. We don't have that. They want something really old. We might not have that either. So to have a collection like this um, featuring one of the local schools that covers so many years is really um, a good resource to have. And so the newsletter here, it contains a lot of different information about, you know, what life was like during that time period for the students. Um, some of the more recent editions are kind of interesting. They give you sort of a good feel for what pop culture was like during, you know, the 70s, 80s, 90s. So, you know, that's a lot of fun to look at, especially if you have um, kids that, you know, you grew up in that time period. That's fun stuff to show them as well. But the issue I'm holding in my hands here, this is from 1935. Um, so you can see uh, a little bit older. Uh, kind of style here versus the newer ones that are going to be posted online from the you know 80s, 90s, 2000s. Um, well, what's really great about these, a lot of the images, the picture, um, photos of folks in these um, older articles, these aren't, you know, people you got to be able to find the faces and places or photograph database. If you're looking for somebody that might have attended Notre Dame Academy, you know, this might be a good resource to check out if you can't find images of them on faces and places or other um, databases. Maybe take a look at the gavel and see if you can find them in this, if you know they attended that school or were associated in some way with it. Um, and again, uh, some also good resources, a lot of businesses. Some of these are probably non-business anymore, of course. So if you're doing some kind of business research or house research in the area, trying to pinpoint where something was, uh, business directories and advertisements um, and the newsletters are also um, a good place to look for information like that as well. So that's just kind of a taste of what you might find in this collection. Again, um, the names of students during those time periods are going to be searchable on Jinky, and more editions are being indexed and scanned um, as we speak and being put online as well. And just to do some housekeeping, upcoming events um, for the fall, our big um, walking tour of historic Fort Mitchell is going to go on on, let me make sure I get the date right, so, uh, September 18th, which is a Monday at 6.30 p.m. Um, if you've been watching some of our YouTube videos about historic Fort Mitchell and you enjoyed that, please come out to um, the walking tour. We're going to talk a little bit more about those homes featured and a lot of new houses as well. So that's um, going to be a really good time. A lot of people show up for those events and, you know, there's a lot of camar camaraderie too to people talking about stories um, that live in the neighborhood. So that's always a good time. So that is it for me. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your summer and have a good fall.